Okay, hello everybody, and let's just get to the chase. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. But baby, I don't know what to think about Candy and the Gang on this first season, episode two. Child, it was called Family Recipe for Disaster, and that show what it was. Honey, she got a disaster with her family working there, biological, and the family that she has adopted with uh, individuals she has come to know, come to know after so many years of working with them. I was like, oh my God, Caddy, I don't know, I don't know. I had to give this one a C. I gave you a, I think it was a B on the first episode because we were just being introduced, but honey, this second episode. It, just got, it was just dry. It was just dry. And I was really on point with Philip. One thing I did not know that Philip was gay. And I was like, okay, maybe that's why this sexual tension. His boyfriend is fine. Oh, my goodness. I was like, damn, couldn't we have his boyfriend in now as a general manager than Philip? Because he just, I think he's just sexually frustrated. And with the long distance relationship, honey, Felipe don't look like he's being faithful <laughs> i mean look at him he's just too pretty and when the mouse is away the cat will play you see what i'm saying and i'm thinking Felipe was here in atlanta and i'm like that's why philip got a uh, uh, uh what do you call a stick up his ass because he ain't getting none on a regular basis and it makes sense and then with the man that he got as a mate whoo child philip you know he cheating on you, baby. You, so you need to calm yourself down. Find you somebody in Atlanta. If Felipe don't want to come, that'll be good. Because that's why he's so stuck up. He's so arrogant. And that damn Patrick, he is just a snitch. A snitch, snitch, snitch. I'm like, can't it just have your whole family work for you? And let everybody just fight up there. Because it's just too much. It's too much. I'm Bertha fussing with her niece. And her niece looking oh. I'm like, damn, she must have had a hard life or something. But that's on Bertha. Um, Ken was the manager of the restaurant, I guess, before Brian took over. But Kim left because she said Mama Joyce was getting on her nerves. I don't have a picture of Kim. So if y'all catch the episode when I was Googling trying to find Candace, um, what do you call it, cousin by the name of Kim, it didn't come up. But I did get Weenie. Uh, who was basically trying to do an intervention with Candy to try to get her cousin on the same page with her aunts, which is Aunt Nora and Mama Joyce. Because uh, Mama Joyce and her had words, and she was leaving, going on by her business. She was leaving the restaurant, and Candace, you know, organization. And she was going, working for somebody else, and she was trying to take some of Candace's staff with her. <laughs> Candace, I, don't, I didn't appreciate that, cousin. I did not appreciate that, Kim. But she was saying she wouldn't have never done that. This, that, and the third. And you could tell Kim was lying. Just like you could tell Mama Joyce was lying when she was saying that um, that was her restaurant. And it probably came out that way. You know, that's my daughter's restaurant. And by it being Candy Restaurant, Mama Joyce probably did say, Hey, that's my, my restaurant too. I don't have my blood, sweat, and tears up there. My recipes are up here too. But I was like, Okay, all right. This is a bunch of mess. We got Aunt Bertha. Fighting between her daughter and her sister. And she ain't really look like she finna choose nothing. They gonna kiss and make up. And everything gonna be going to glory. And that's cool. You know. Get it. Got it good. But honey. That was funny as hell. They called themselves up there trying to have an intervention. With Mama Joyce, Kim, and Nora. <laughs> and the only thing it took was them to put out some chicken wings. And some soul food over there. That Mama Joyce swear she had uh ordered or catered or whatever it looked like it came from zaxby's to tell you the truth but everybody was over there eating crunching down getting you know good and ken was trying to make her way over there with her two aunts and i was like this is a hot mess a total hot mess but it seemed like it was gonna get kind of you know out of hand come on no i throw you down the stairs like i did last time I was like i'm bertha i ain't hear that in them streets girl that's an assault charge <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm about to stop you acting like Portia. But Candy did say, um, 
in her defense that when uh, Aunt Nora was younger, she used to scrap. <laughs> so I'm like, God damn. That's, oh, this is too much. Too much. Too much info. But she don't need to be scrapping at her age because somebody throw her the wrong way. She going to break a fracture or something. So she need to stop. But then Kim, Kim seemed kind of old too. I'm like, damn, Kim. You got a hard life or something? But anyway, that was a hot scene and a hot mess. Then we had the scene with um, Patrick overexerting himself, not handling things. I'm like, Candy, where is, um, what's his name, uh, Phillip's office, baby? It seems like he's just working in and everywhere. He needs four walls and a door. So when he wants to reprimand somebody or talk to people in his normal tone or whatever, get him an office, okay? Because how he's coming off on these employees, that's not a good look. And that's not management material. He don't need to be no director of operations management or however you got him that empty ass title because he acting like a damn fool. Now, he probably would act a little better if his uh, boyfriend was here in Atlanta and staying. But that's neither here nor there. But he's just getting on everybody's nerve. Ain't no way in the world the whole staff can have something negative to say about Philip. Philip need an attitude adjustment. Okay? He need an attitude adjustment. Because he's just too rude. He was too rude to, um, what do you call it, Torian when he was coming in trying to do what he had to do. That whole scene was like uncomfortable. I would have just said, you know what, fella? I'm a, we need to have a meeting with me, you, and hard and candy and don one can be a part of it if he choose to because you're not going to talk to me this kind of way you asked me to come over here to have a conversation i don't think you seem like you're doing this interrogating the hell out of me i don't appreciate it Bye bye and that's why i would have left that shit and uh but like i said they knew the tv but uh torrin was um he was handling himself real well, and I was, I was very happy that he did do so. Like, if he going to act stupid like that, you get back with him, shit. Whatever you were doing, you can go back to doing that, and then they can find somebody else, uh, an event planner, and take it from there. But, now nah, they got a monster on their hands. He, uh-uh, he need to go back to training. And Don Juan basically should have hinted to Candy. He too arrogant even for my ass. But it seemed like... Uh, Philip was rubbing off on Don Juan because he was upset. I'm like, why are you going to call people back saying you need them, you want them, and to return? And then you're going to treat them like shit. Because when Torian came in, he was on time. And Don Juan was just acting arrogant as hell, which I've never really seen him do unless he had just caused. Now, of course, he said that Torian had left and he lied and he did. But these are young people, you know, and, and I know uh, Don Juan is young himself, but he got it all together. And that's cool. But some people, such as Torin, he seems like he just needs to be, you know, groomed a little bit more. And you saw something in him. And evidently, he was bringing something to the table because you wouldn't have called him and wanted to set a meeting for him with the option of him trying to come back to the establishment. So, like Torin said, give him his flowers, you know, let him, you know, toot his own horn, stroke his ego. Because you call him, he didn't call y'all. And damn, I didn't know Candy was that cheap. Candy, you mean to tell me that event that Torian threw in the parking lot for your old employees and your new employees to mix and mingle with one another, you didn't pay Torian for that. See, that's what I'm saying, Candy. You're going to be back in the news, you know, with your employees past and present trying to sue you for wages that you're not paying them. I mean... I'm like, even they were asking him, you didn't get paid. He said, no, I did it, you know, as a freebie. I'm like, I, I ain't that free in this world, but Al. And if they could learn how to capture Al, we would, you would have a whole lot of dead bodies running around here on these streets. You wouldn't be able to drive your car because people wouldn't have been paying for their Al. You see what I'm saying? Al, we already paying for water, and that's a crime, shame, a shame and a scandal, really. So I'm like, Okay, that was a whole mess of a situation. But like I said, we didn't really need to have that. Don Juan could have been, he know he could have been a little bit more professional. But it seemed like Don Juan, the HR person, he the, uh, <laughs> the go-to person. Then he had to handle Candace's other businesses. I'm like, uh-uh, Don Juan, you must be sexually frustrated as well. Because tell you the truth, as, as quiet as it's kept lies, I'm going to speak it out. Hell, um... It seemed like you were attracted 
to uh Philip too. And I'm like, oh, uh uh-uh, no, no. But you know, hey, Torin is available. But I I say you say you see him as your little brother, so that can't transpire right there. But it, it just is what it is. I could say Don Juan looked like he had an attitude when Torrin was coming for the appointment that they uh Don Juan had scheduled for them. So I didn't too much care for that. Then we have um Melvin's in the kitchen as uh, Candy's cousin, and she's saying um, Melvin and um, Patrick was her cousins that she helped raise, and they they're just like her babies, her boys and stuff. So you know, like I said, I ain't too much caring for Patrick because he think he look good, he he know he look good, and he think he's God gift to women. Period, and he's Aunt Bertha's uh, grandson. So she got her daughter was working up there before, you know, they started taping and wanted to put OLG staff, you know, on the um, the reality show. So, <coughs> excuse me, she was working somewhere else, but she, I guess you want to come back. But Candy put an 86 stop hold on that situation because she feel that Kim is going to be a disruptive person. And, and it's possible, plausibly that may be true. And then they haven't men things together with the aunts. Because it seems like the aunts are still going up there. Uh, trying to do whatever they're trying to do. I Hell, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, then we had... Um, we had uh, Todd with his crazy ass. And, I, you know, I say that... Because I'm sick of Todd. Like, you know, y'all say y'all like him. He's the best thing for can. Like, best thing like a uh, sliced apple pie with ice cream on top. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, son, no, Lord. That, he is too. He's a ninja. Okay. And he needs to keep his mouth shut pretty much if he's not going to do right about this little man. Okay. Uh, he seems to be just the sweetest person on earth. He's taking care of his grandma. He looked like he cooking for everybody and then saw him and Todd just sitting up there talking about, let him be a man. Let him be hell won't you be a man? Why don't you go get a job away from Candace establishment? Show and prove. Put it on TV. Let us see what you're working with, Todd. Because Todd just got on my goddamn nerve. I'm, I'm sick of him. I don't know. I can't put up with him, but that's her thing. But uh-uh, I, can't, I don't like him. I don't like him. I'm, ooh, I'm so, ooh. Woo! I wish AJ was still alive. I wish AJ was still alive. Then we wouldn't have to put up with Todd and his callousness. Okay? He's, he's, oh, he's getting on my nerve. He was mad because Candy pretty much had put Melvin through culinary school. You see what I'm saying? He, and then Candy, you know, try to, you know, brush off some. No, he paid for most of it. I only paid for some of it. He said, now nah, you paid for all of it. I'm like, what the hell is it to you? Okay? It's already a known factor. Candy going to take care of her family or who she choose to bless. Keep your ass. Keep your mouth shut. It ain't got shit to do with you. Whatever you make it on this show, you continue to make it. Okay? But whatever she doing on this show and she make it on this show, she can give it to anybody she want to give it to. She could give it to Casper the Friendly Ghost if she needed to. But you shouldn't be saying shit. I'm like, can't just. That'll be a soft charge. I'll be wanting to say, just slap them upside the head. Or just tell them, no, we can't take. When we're talking about. Specific people in my family that I really care about. I don't want to talk around me. Because you never know how my right hand may just be fight or flight. Fight or flight. It might just accidentally leave my body and he- uh, be upside his head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Like, oh, I didn't know it was going to come to that. You know what I'm saying? Because he just irked me. He irks the hell out of me when he sees Candy trying to help somebody in her family. Or probably trying to help a damn stranger. You know what I'm like? Damn, she's been helping your ass since y'all been married. You have been help me Joe over there okay like you can't do nothing Ugh! but then let me just get off him because i'm having a tangent so anyway let's go on back to um let me see brandon and dominique they're out on a date i don't know how this romance and work thing gonna do because it seems like dominique is like a top shelf bottle of wine and she can see potential in Brandon, but he's kind of moving a little bit too fast for her. But, you know, give her a couple more drinks. She's going to be in bed with him. It's going all, all she wrote. All she wrote, you know. She's an easy target. She try to act like she all that classy, not trashy. But, child, a little bit too much alcohol, too much rubbing up the right way. She'll be in the bed, honey. And all this fantasy of what she was trying to give as an upscale top woman. Don't, you know, do this on the first, second, third date. You know what I'm saying? Waiting out a person like celibacy. That ain't her. But she's trying to play the role. Okay. 
and uh, like I said, she wants to dance. And I don't know why she sounds like Fantasia when she talks. Listen to when Dominique talks. She gives you the very distinct impression of a reminder of Fantasia. I don't know if it's the baby voice or the, the smallness of it. But yeah, that's the, she gave me that tease. Okay, let me see. Uh, I don't know. Y'all help me out. I thought uh, Phaedra had introduced Candy to Todd. But Candy is saying she met Todd in Africa when they were over there uh, touring the motherland. And that's how they started, you know, meeting after taping was over and they was chit-chatting and they just got together. But I could have sworn that Phaedra put their ass together. And they were here in Georgia when that happened. So, I don't know. Y'all get down in the comments and let a sister know. Let a family mama know. You know what I'm saying? Because I would hate to go off like candy. Damn, stop lying now. I'm afraid to put y'all together. And y'all did that shit here in Atlanta. You ain't do that shit in Africa. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know. Oh, let me see. And then let's see what's going on. Oh, and why is Candy charging $10 to park in the back of her restaurant? Is she crazy? Is she crazy? I'm like, see, that's why you don't park. Girl. I'm like, uh-uh. No, you should not be charging people to park, baby. Whew. That's, that's just like you were charging that $4 ice thing over uh, blazing seafood over there at your other restaurant. That's some bullshit, Candy. That's some bullshit. But anyway, yep. If y'all go to see her, she pays 10 Uh, She wants $10 to park in her parking lot in the back. Okay, um, let me see here. And oh, yeah, I wanted to understand and see if y'all can help me out as well. Candy seemed to be doing this promotion of Big Booty Judy, the brat's wife now. Um, she's co signing on their hair products. It's, it seems like it's in every one of her shows, it was in the first episode and it's in the second episode so i'm like did she work out a deal where they're paying her royalties to um uh as a promo to put their ads and her stuff here when her show is being shown uh, y'all let me know i'm like okay you should get some money from kenya and do the same thing Cause i would hate to think that kenya's being will probably look at you side eye like you helping them and you couldn't help me I'm pretty sure you should you should be able to endorse both products. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if that's a conflict of their interest. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about that. Okay. And Tori has a pretty nice apartment. Okay. Because Dominique and Shandrika goes over there. And try to talk small talk with them. And they trying to tell him a little bit about what to expect from Philip. And you know. It's just is what it is. I don't know if Dominique will drop prior to her coming over there. She had a little bit too much. And they just showed us the scene after they had been drinking a lot. But Dominique said she wasn't black. I'm <laughs> like, girl, if you need to look in the mirror again, okay? Maybe your spirit is not black. But your face surely is up and down from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. You black, baby. Okay? Um, let me see. Okay, we did uh, talk about that. Okay, we talked about Philip acting an ass still. Um, Candy, why is your mom? Okay, and I was trying to figure out, you know, when the show did come on um, this episode, Aunt Bertha was up there and Mama Joyce was, well, Aunt Bertha had just left from up there. And Mama Joyce and Aunt Nora were there working in the restaurant. I'm like, y'all too damn old to be up in now in that restaurant. Unless y'all sitting outside, well, not sitting outside, but sending them on to the customers, just greeting them. But you look like y'all running the cash register, back there frying shit, and then coming out serving at the folks. I, I don't think that's right, Candy. Don't be working your uh, mama or your uh, aunts like that now. Hell, they in their 80s and Mama Joyce is so, what, 78, 72, something like that. Let them sit their asses down. Hell, keep them at home. <laughs> Just keep them at home. That's all they need to do. They don't need to have no outings up there. They don't did their job. They don't need promo, press, and all that shit. They don't don't, don't need to be unless you pay. I hope you're paying them for their services now, Candy. Don't be sitting up there holding on no money from your mama and your two aunts. They're doing the best job that they can. Hell, they retired anyway. Hell, you got them up there for. But anyway, um, let me see. Uh, we, we talked about that. Oh, and then, um, I don't know what they're going to do with Shandrika. I mean, she's a pretty pr woman. Don't get me wrong. But I'm like, she's hollering about $12. I'm like, well, 
most businesses are not going to put you on TV. Okay, you're on TV. You can try to make it as an actress or get on another reality show where they're actually looking at you because you're playing a part. Or, you know, maybe you can get into some films or something. I don't know, but that's the opening door. So $12 hours now ain't bad with the perks you get to see celebrities. All right? And they're not running from you. Okay? Um, so, you know, you should know better anyway. Unless you just want to be in the limelight of the celebrities. Because um, you have a college education. So you could do something else. But you choose to hang around Candy. Them and, and, and film with them. So $12 is pretty good for you, Shadrickle. Alright. Because you do get extra perks, I'm sure. Uh, let me see. Kim, work with my husband, Bertha, daughter, okay. Okay, and then we meet Brian, and that is such a refreshing scene, because I like Torian, and I didn't know Brian, they both had a little twist in the sheets, and he was saying, Brandon was too good, too big for him, he can't handle, not, Torian was too uh, big for him, he couldn't handle it, that's Brian, and Brian um, was a server, or he's coming back as a server of the restaurant, uh, he's been with them, uh, that was four years ago or whatnot, and then Colby came in, and I guess he just he just became an alcoholic or something to that degree, but um, he's trying to get his life back straight, trying to leave the spirits alone and alcohol, and um, he's loving life at this time. But he's a trip, honey. I, I I can see myself hanging out with him. He's just a fun, fun, fun. Him and Tori and together, child, they have me busting in stitches. I'm telling you, I'd be laughing my ass off at them. Um. And then I didn't like way Philip came off on Brian. You know, Brian was all happy go lucky. And then, you know, uh, it seemed like Philip had to check him, put him in place because he was just moseying along thinking he can come in and pick up where he left off. And he didn't like his spirit and his energy. So he had to, like, put some brain on it in the other words. It was just a hot mess. I'm like, where you get? Philip need to be fired and take Todd with him. Take Todd. Go fire both of their asses. Cause Todd, um, Todd ain't doing shit. We're trying to get orders and ain't doing and showing a nap. Did he ever get that generator, girl? Did, that's what we need to know before this uh, season ends. Did y'all ever get a card reader and a uh, generator? Okay, cause that's the that's one on one in business. You must have them both simultaneously. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me see. Ten thousand. Okay. Um, oh, and then Shadrika, of course, had asked Philip because he was in the presence of everybody um, in the group. And he was asking, she was asking him to come on and join them for drinks out the word, this, that, and the third. He said, all y'all going together. And all y'all going to be sitting talking together. He said, uh-uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I said, you probably should have went out with them. And when they start discussing things that shouldn't have been discussed, then you could have left exit stage right. But to know your people, you must be amongst them sometimes and see how they come and go and learn some things about them before you pass judgment, Philip. Okay. But like I said, I didn't know Philip was gay. But I, it, 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 because I thought he was constipated to tell true. I really did. Like, but his mama was, was had passed or whatnot. So I'm like, damn, don't you have some aunts? Don't you have some women in your life, honey, that can check your bowel movements and stuff? Because your attitude is piss poor. It was piss poor. In the premiere, it was piss poor on season one. It's still piss poor. Woo! Give you some cranberry juice or some of some prune juice. And, and tell Felipe he can't live wherever he is. He need to come here in Georgia. Because you're trying to make everybody's life miserable. Trying to make Torian's life miserable. You're making Brian life miserable. Hell, you started off with Shadrika. But Shadrika just came shooting straight from a hip. Okay? She says, I don't like you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord. This girl better get fired on her first day of coming back. Seeing Philip. But, um. You know, he said the chain of command was Todd and Candy, then Don Juan, and then it's him. I'm like, well, damn, you on the lowest stone tone pole. You man number four. <laughs> so, you don't hold really no weight now, do you? Okay? I'm like, fire him. Just fire him, Candy. Just fire his ass. I'm sick of him. And sick of Todd. Um, and that's pretty much it. I did say something about Patrick, right? Patrick's dropping dime on the crew. I'm like, they don't like my, my cousin. They need to leave. I said, they need to take your ass with them, too. Because you ain't doing shit anyway. You ain't doing shit either, okay? Sitting down amongst them and they talking about your family, but you ain't saying shit. Okay? I'm like, okay. 
We see where you coming from. Now, Melvin was there. He would just got up from the table and left. You know? And, but see, you sit there. You, 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 ain't, you, you ain't about shit either, Patrick. You ain't about shit. Okay, then we got, like I said, Candy had staged that intervention with her cousin Weenie. And really, they were going to throw blows. At least Aunt Nora and Kim, her cousin. And they had to stand up between them and try to make one go to the other side. And this, that, and third. And once they bought their fried chicken out... Honey, all bets were off. They didn't care what they disagreed before. They were just like, good food, I'm finna eat. <laughs> mm. Trying to show black folk love that food. Food over everything. We ain't got nothing. We ain't got to discuss anything. We eating right now. We being merry. Drinking, eating, and being merry, honey. Whatever we are about, let's pick it back up next week. <laughs> Woo! Good food will soothe the soul, honey. Good food will soothe the soul. But um, that was pretty much it. I I don't know where we going with this whole thing of Ken and the gang. I ain't saying I need to see somebody fight and throw blows, but it was just kind of dry. The only people that I got a little chuckle from was Brian. Um, Torin was a good one. Um, Shandrika is just gonna be a hot mess all the way through, so we ain't even gonna give her. No more shine. Or we ain't gonna talk about her no more. Cause she's just the staple. She thinks she's princess queen all rolled up in one. And to me it seems like she's still like Patrick. Even though she did admit her and Patrick had something. And then she was trying to like put them down and stuff like that. But I'm like that's all y'all had was uh, lust between y'all. Y'all both got y'all inhibitions out. And it just is what it is. He got a girlfriend. You got a fiance. So it seems like it worked out. But I don't know child. I don't know. But I don't know if this going to be a hit either. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I just don't know. I ain't going to say it's boring because Candace really not in it. She's like coming in and out. We're just seeing real life of how these people that she has employed are faring in her restaurant and, and the comings and goings. And that's pretty much it. So you can't, I can't really blame Cand on this because it's her show, but she's not really in it. So I can't say she's boring because um, she's really not. She's doing what's appropriate. But I, I don't know. I don't know about this show, child. It kind of does give me the Vanderpump tease where you have some employees the same way that you have it on Candy's show. They just disobedient. They want to do what they want to do. And they drink it all the liquor. Now, I don't know what. We ain't seen nobody drink nobody. No drink but Dom, Dominique. Okay. She's the one the little little ship there. That I am seeing. But I, I don't know, guys. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. If it don't get, get better by um, the next episode. At least four episodes. I don't have two. I can do two more. Other than that, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just don't know. Ooh, it's hard to predict. It's hard to predict. But um that's all I have for this uh particular episode. Hopefully y'all liked it. Love gotta have more hair look at it if you if you can stand to. Cause it, it was kinda boring. I ain't gonna lie. It was kinda boring. It's like it needed some hot sauce on it or some pepper or something. I, I don't know. But the salt wasn't there. The salt was not there. You know, salt is seasoned the food. You know what I'm saying? I gotta have a little dash of salt. Hell, it wasn't no salt. It's like I was just eating a meal and it was just bland, like eating a rice cake or something. That's what they gave me, rice cake material. So, y'all just take it from there and go with it. But, um, I will see y'all next video. All right, y'all be blessed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And definitely like and share my videos. Okay, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.